Time for a shack extension. But working on this barbecue and after a great barbecue doesn't cost a fortune. Um, I've had a fair few people ask me recently about why I haven't had any videos out for a little while. And this video will show you why. And we're going to have to break this down in, into some parts. So in part one we're going to be talking about how I laid out the floor. Um, and set the back panels and move the roof and things like that. And then uh, part two is going to be about building the front of the shack. Try not to drop my phone. And then... Uh, Part three will be about laying things out on the inside. So this is part one. Um, hope it explains why I haven't put any videos out for a little while and I hope you all enjoy um, the shack extension. So this is where the shack extension is going to go. I've just got a piece of ground where the greenhouse used to be. And basically you can take that end off, move it up against the fence over here, um, and then build the back in, build the front in from there. So first thing to do is to get the base in place. So we've got all the battening in place now. It may look slightly out of proportion. That's because of the ply board that's going down. Um, sort of this length, second length in here. That's for the, the length of the board. And then the width of the board that way. So we're having like double skinned on the floor. Um, everything that wasn't pressure treated wood has been bitumen painted. That's why it's black. Everything that's gone into the ground, all of the pegs. They are bitumen painted as well um, before they're concreted in. So we've got three pegs, I believe, one there, one on the front down here, and one on that corner. Everything else is done off of the fence posts or off of the original uh, shack, the other side. So I forgot to just take a shot of once we've just got the floor down. So it's double skinned and then everything will lap over the front of that. And as I say, we've done it so that one lot is lengthways this way and the other way is lengthways sort of across so that there's less play in there. Um, I've taken the very end off and we've got that into position. We've just got to get that square. Um, it's just screwed into a fence post to hold it up at the moment. But to hold the existing roof up, what I did was, so I've put a batten in across the top of here and then we've just put a wedge in there just to hold that in place. The front's kind of flapping a little bit, but the main weight is being taken by this wedge. Um, but it's going to give me a fair amount more space across the back of here. So yeah, it's all exciting. So we're just going to get this end squared up and then start getting the framework into place. Um, probably start with the roof battening across. Just going to go across and sit onto there. Uh, yeah, it's all design stuff. So we've got all the roof battens in place now. That goes all the way across, and we've got one for the join here. Just started cutting the ply in place. So all I did when it come to making sure everything's going to stay the same is I just ran it further in, um, joined it off of the ones that were already there and here. I've still got this piece of battening in place that's holding up the original um, roof. So it's screwed into the roof battening here and the roof battening on the edge, which is then held up. And then that's then holding this middle piece up because I had a fair bit of flex in that middle piece. So that's just holding that up nice and square. I'm just finishing cutting off the roof. Got a nice bit of overhang at the back. Just got one more piece of roof to cut. I'll take you out the ladder. Got this little piece to cut here get it all screwed in and then run the felt on a um, decent bit of overlap off that first um, felt there because it's pretty mangy we're about to take it off but the felt's all different colors anyway from where i've taken it from sort of different pieces at different times but yeah it's coming on really quickly um so from today which is i'm actually screwing the ply board down to the floor it was already pre-cut taking the end off and moving that and getting all of this in place. I started about quarter to nine this morning and it's currently 12 o'clock, so we're only sort of three hours in. It's coming together very, very quickly today. So I've boarded the front up just with some surplus ply, stuff from the old roof and stuff. Um, just because the rain's coming, it's getting pretty gray. 
Um, so we've boarded it up for tonight, but we've got the front fascia on all the way down. And then uh, it's all felted all the way off. It has, doesn't have the fascia on this side yet, but I'm gonna run out of time before the rain comes in. Um, down to the old felt. So yeah, it's coming on nicely. I thought I'd just bring you in side very, very quickly. So got one last piece left to do, piecing um, the wall up there. I've got a flash on because it's super, super dark. First CD I ever bought. It got cracked in the car, so that's always gonna live in the shack. Um, so this is, it's a very big mess, but that's what we was dealing with before. Um, and it's just gonna give me so much more room, worktop space and everything. 